Flemeth. Flemeth. I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. <laughs> no, they just all hopped in Ferraris. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. Wait a minute. That's uh, where their ship landed, with all the rest. Why exactly did we come here? <laughs> you know, we had a choice of how many other locations to flee to, and we flee to some city that looks like Death Door? Family or no family, I won't be rocking up here, I'm telling you that. And now we enter Pastures New. The demo did not go this route. And so the blindness kicks in from now. City. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Hmm. This might prove to be a slight problem. Are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the blight. Just as we are. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's totally believable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. And there we have it. Back on dry land, and we also have a level up situation. So before we start reading, level up our brother, Carv. What was I saying? He's a DPS warrior, isn't he? Okay, strength, dexterity again. I need to. I will get used to it. Critical chance percentage. I think. Did it? Did it? Did it? Magic? No, definitely not. Willpower. Increase. Oh, willpower increases the stamina pool for warriors as well. So willpower is definitely uh, useful. Put a click into there, shall we? What are you doing? Giants reach. The warrior's two handed attacks rip through the air with such power that each generates a shock wave past the point of impact, effectively extending the weapon's reach. This affects basic attacks, whirlwind, mighty blow, and scythe. Hmm, useful. Warmonger, what's, what's he got here? Pommel strike. Now stuns them for longer and sends them reeling. Taunt? Not really interested in taunt so much. Leave that to a tank type character. What's this? Battle Master. 
Stealing of a battle, the warrior takes a deep breath to regain some stamina. Defender. We'll totally ignore the defender stance, I think. Just double check. Stone wall. Turn the blade. Elemental Aegis. The secret to warding off the elements is to rely on your armour. What's this? The Vanguard. Control. Might. The warrior focuses on heavy swings that cleave through foes. That's quite handy. So cleave through foes, yes, that's good. Uh, not doing taunt. Uh, this bolster to regain stamina, that could be handy. Sunder. Killer blow. Shattering blow. Giant's reach. Hmm. I think I might put on might. Okay. As we now change to here. <laughs> Alrighty. Ogres. We know about ogres, thank you. Places. We know about the Kokari Wilds. The city of Kirkwall. Kirkwall once lived on the edge of the Tevinta Imperium and was home to nearly a million slaves. Phew, a lot of slaves. Stolen from elven lands or shipped from across the sea, all slaves fed the Imperium's unquenchable thirst for expansion. They worked in massive quarries and sweltering foundries that produced stone and steel for the Empire. The city's complicated past is not easy to forget, history having earmarked many corners of the stone city. A ship approaching the harbour spots the city's namesake, an imposing black wall. It is visible for miles and carved into the cliffside are a pantheon of vile guardians representing the old gods. Over the years a chantry has effaced many of these profane sentinels, but it will take many more years to erase them all. Also carved into the cliff is a channel that permits ships into the city's interior. Flanking the channel are two massive bronze statues, the twins of Kirkwall. The statues have a practical use. Kirkwall sits next to the narrowest point of the Waking Sea, and a massive chain net can be erected between the statues and the lighthouse, closing off the only narrow navig <laughs> navigable lane. This stranglehold on sea traffic is jealously guarded by the ever-changing rules of the city, <coughs> as the net trolls taxes, tolls and extortions in from the sea. Oh, Brother Jenny TV makes a return, does he? Nice to see his writings once again. So that's Kirkwall. An honest answer regarding apostates. A major does not receive the teachings of the circle and who does not have the words of Andraste in her heart is an apostate and a danger to us all. Who is writing this crap? I don't... I'm not interested in that. Bad-mouthing apostates. Bethany Hawk, she died. Flemeth. We know about Flemeth. Alrighty. So, find Gamblin Amel or some other way into Kirkwall. On this one also, deliver Flemeth's amulet to Keeper Marathari in the Dalish camp on Sunder Mount. Alrighty. So. Ah, there you go. Look, the two statues there, you can see them. Although I'm sure there's probably, probably been these ones here. Okay, what's the noise all about? Can I come through? What are we going to do? I don't know, dear. All I know is that I want to go through here somewhere. How do I get in? Let me just walk through and get stopped. Hello? Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. 
Midden's Heap? What the hell's one of them? What is this place? Well, that seems like a stupid question to ask. And <laughs> what will happen? Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. Well, look at it. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships there. Knight Commander Meredith? That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. Oh dear. This place is headed by a temple. That doesn't make for good, uh, <laughs> good news for Mr. Apostate over here. Well, I need to get into the city. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Captain who? Uh, sucker for names. Captain Thews? Captain Hughes? He's probably going to have clothes on. Should be grateful for that. <laughs> grateful for small mercies. Alright, uh, journal. Speak to Captain Yuald in the gallows courtyard. Oh, mark it up, I suppose. Mark it active quest. And give us a wee pointer in the right direction. Okay. See ya. <laughs> How frustrating for those guys that still stood outside and we just waltzed them through. Oh, could I could I actually loot these? No, I must have must have been mistaken. Right, okay. Point and click. Talk to any of these guys. Oh look a beggar. Please, sir, can I have some more? How dare you! 